Thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, uh, here in Chile, we are in the morning, so good morning for here and good afternoon for, for the other countries that are in Belay. So uh, today I will speak for uh, like for, um, for a case that we had like two years ago. That is a three grade lumbar sacral uh, uh, spondylolisthesis aggravated to four after a trauma. It's not a, a a normal case is not a it's not a a case that we use to see every day, so it's an interesting case. So that's the idea for the for the case. So thank you very much for for hearing me and the invitation. So uh, in the literature, we have five types of spondylolisthesis: the dysplastic, the ischemic, the degenerative, the traumatic, and the pathologic spondylolisthesis. This is a mixed between a degenerative and a traumatic uh, uh, spondylolisthesis report. So the traumatic lumbar uh, spondylolisthesis is a rare uh, scenario. Uh, when we see the literature, we can, and this is a review from last year, and here they got like 125 cases at all. So it's not a, a, a normal case. So, the media cases are uh, young people that are all, most of the cases are vehicle accidents. But in this case, we have a special patient that it's a 25, 22 years old male that used to train soccer by a professional, as a professional player here in Chile. The professional Chile uh, players, it's only the, 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 the Serie A have a good income. So most of the players have to work in another Thing here. So he also was working like a celebrity. He suffered an accident while he was cleaning a concrete machine. Okay, another uh, worker, a, a partner, uh, turned on the machine when he was cleaning on top. So he, he was trapped uh, between the wall and the, the, <clears throat> the concrete machine. So he had a very high energy. Uh, trauma uh, when he was trapped. Uh, he was admitted in, a, in, a, in another clinic, no, in our clinic. So uh, we got after the patient. He complained of actual pain without irradiation to lower, lower lines. And uh, he didn't have a neurologic impairment. So he was only back pain. This is uh, the, the x-ray of the admission. We can see that uh, the patient had a high grade uh, pelvic incidence, and he, here we can see that he has a spondylolisthesis grade three, as uh, sixty percent of of displacement of L five S one. Here we can see that uh, uh, he was uh, what well, here we can see the the listesis, but also we can see that he was a ischemic, uh, a uh, ischemic. Uh, Listesis, uh, listesis between. So before that, so it's a uh, mix. It, I insist that this patient has been meeting in another place before he went. He get to to us. This is the CT, the, the MRI that we can see the 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 lesion of the alignments in the back in the part in the back part. So uh, was a no no was a acute thing. Uh, over a chronic thing. So, uh, in this patient, have another lesions in the in the bowel. So it was like one uh, one month and a half in a in a in a, in a, in a, a in a good condition. So after he was uh, transferred to our to our uh, institution, uh, but he was leave from the work. He, they give. Uh, gave uh, painkillers and a lumbar for, uh, brace until he was uh, uh, transferred to our uh, hospital. This was the scenario uh, when he uh, arrived to our hospital. Two months follow up. Uh, this, this is, if you can see, was progressed. Uh, have a lot of pain, back pain, but no neurological problems. So here you can see that. Uh, pelvic parameters all have a high grade 85 um, 
uh, pelvic incidence, the number of doses was 60, 64. Uh, the lower lo, lo, uh, number of doses is 28. Between the, the S, L5 and S1 was zero. Uh, the lumbar sacral angle was 78, and uh, the sleeping angle was uh, 18. So here we uh, have uh, some questions uh, uh, when, when the patient arrives, and we always have to ask if we have to get a surgery or not. In this case, in scenario, it's difficult to say that you uh, don't have a surgery. So uh, the second question is where are we going to go to the approach? Uh, you can do it by posture or, or anterior or combined. So um, also what, are, what is important to say is uh, which are the levels that we're going to include in the, in the atrodesis, okay, in the instrument station can be L5 as one, L4 as one, or L4 helium. So it's, it's really important to think what you're going to do be, before you got into the OR. So what we did here is uh, uh, a technique by USS Chance that is uh, you first put a, a screws in the L4 and the, so the Chance in L4 and uh, helium you make a distraction. With the distraction first, you, it's, you can reduce partially the listesis, but uh, ha, it's like have a little sleep. So uh, you, with the distraction, you can get a, a little bit of a reduction first. And after you put a, a, another uh, chance, but this is a special chance that it's a re, uh, then you can make a reduction because you have a, a, a special uh, thread in the in the in the shunts. So with that uh, uh, element, you can make the reduction of the listesis. And after you put a, a and also you have to put a S1 uh, shunts. And after you take it away the the ilium uh, shunts, and at least you can correct at least uh, before uh, the problem of the trauma. So the the idea is to make a distraction and after a reduce uh, maneuver by the reduction uh, shunts. Okay. After uh, when we have a uh, the patient when it's reduced, uh, we put bone graft in the uh, in the disc space of L L L five as one uh, by a local. Uh, by the local arc that is we we took we took before the all the all the the maneuvers we took the posture arc of five and also we took a uh, bone graft on the of from the ilium crest so here you can see the the correction that is it's not perfect but we can we we correct the 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 local kyphosis and also the the re, the we reduct uh, partially the, the listesis. Uh, the more important thing here was to correct the, the kyphosis and also to get uh, the, cons the, the consolidation of the, of the, of the segment. So uh, when we are, we've got that, it's, it's perfect. So after we, we put a cast, a, pelvic, a lumbar pelvic cast for 12, weeks to protect our construction. And after that, uh, for things, uh, five months, uh, we, we have a, that, X that photograph and x-ray. And also here you can see that uh, uh, finally at uh, five months, we, we lose a little bit of, of the, the kyphosis, so the, the lordosis that we won in the surgery, but we, are, we got uh, really uh, uh, happy for the consolidation of the of the segment that it's it's ready and we we without the ilium uh, uh, in, uh, including in the in the fixation we are happy so uh, it's a uh, high grade uh, this thesis by the trauma uh, for the for this patient.
So for the linear outcome, the spondylolisthesis and uh, spondylolisthesis and spondylolisthesis can respond to a lumbar sacral disruption in the face of an additional trauma. This is a case that it's not a, a usual case that uh, when you look in the literature, it's always the, the, the when you have a trauma, uh, it's like a fracture of the facet or a fracture of the pedicles, but it's not, not, it's not usually to have a spondylolisthesis be, before and is aggravated by a, but a trauma. Biomechanical studies suggest that compression and extension as a biomechanical oscillation, and the posture approach using shunts and rods are an efficient tool to reduce the service, the, the consolidation, avoiding the, uh, the anterior approach complications. In this case, because when you have a, a trauma addition, uh, uh, when the patient have a, a bowel problem, uh, have a, another uh, issues in the, in the anterior approach, uh, is an efficient uh, and secure way to, to treat it. So that, thank you very much.